welcome to the first ever west claremont local school district shoe box parade it's all a part of the second annual love west claremont week and this year's parade theme is there's no place like home hello once again everybody my name is ron points and i'm a west claremont local school district english teacher at the high school and i'm proud to be your host today i'll tell you you're in for a great great parade you know we almost didn't have today's parade because what with the snow in the last couple of weeks and today was supposed to rain but look up there the weatherman cooperated and then we had wind conditions because you know you have to be careful with the parade balloons and the tethering for uh, caution reasons but just Exactly. Two minutes ago, we got word from the Batavia officials that the wind has died down. We are good to go. Wait a minute. I, I just got word in the video truck from Matt Curlis and our tech director, Nick Meese, that the parade is going to start right now. So once again, sit back, relax, and enjoy the first ever West Claremont Local School District Shoebox Parade. And what would the start of a parade be without a Grand Marshal? This year's Grand Marshal is none other than Superintendent Natasha Adams in her truck, along with the Board of Education. Thanks for all you do, guys. Next up is the Amelia Elementary Tigers entry into the shoebox parade. Principal Shane Short is pulling the float with his Bengals 4x4. Here's an interesting fact about Principal Short. He is an Ohio State fan. Next up are the Clough Pike Elementary Cougars. Principal Kevin Thacker is pulling the float in his red 4x4. Here's a fun fact with Principal Thacker, he is an Alabama fan. Ooh, maybe we shouldn't have put Mr. Thacker and Mr. Short back to back in the parade. Time will tell. Next up, the Holly Hill Elementary Huskies. Principal Erin Parker there in her gator. Look at that amazing float. The Merwin Elementary Mustangs are next in line. Their float is being pulled by Jessie Slusher, Principal Jessie Slusher in her Army Jeep. We'd also like to thank her for serving her country in the past. She is an Army veteran. The Summerside Elementary Eagles float is being pulled by Principal Lisa Courtney in her pink buggy. Just look at the intricate detail and the great work on that float.
Up next, the Willowville Elementary Warriors with Principal Kevin Jones pulling their float with his camo truck. Here's an interesting fact about Principal Jones. He speaks multiple languages. Here come the Withamsville Tabasco Elementary Bobcats. Principal Sue Hall is pulling the float in her gorgeous pink Corvette. Personally, I think there should be a Corvette in every parade. Way to go, guys. Now for the West Claremont Middle School entries. First for the sixth graders. The Wolves principal, Tiffany Brennan, in her Barbie Jeep is pulling their float. Congratulations, sixth graders. Next for the West Claremont Middle School is the head principal, Principal Ross Hudson. He is pulling the wolves float in his very own tractor, direct from his family farm. Mr. Hudson, I hope you remembered to put the slow moving vehicle signs on the back before you started on the highway this morning, or else we'll have to send out the resource officers after you. As the parade begins to wind down, next we have the West Claremont High School entry with Principal Randy Gephardt pulling the float in his very own RV. He's just itching to get out there on the highways later on this year. And last, but certainly not least, a big round of applause for the senior class of 2021 at West Claremont High School. Their float is being pulled by our mascot, Wesley, on his four-wheeler. And this is a very special float because it's a mini wolf mock-up of their junior float from last year. Just look at the intricate detail of that. You know, seniors, we really appreciate you and have to thank you. You pulled us through 2020 and 2021, and you are a great class. Congratulations, senior class of 2021, and best of luck in the future. Well, there you have it, the first ever West Claremont Local School District Shoebox Parade. I'll tell you, what a success in its very first year. You know, there are so many people to thank for this. Uh, I hope I don't forget anybody, but first off, we have to start with the gentleman that headed this all up. Yes, we're talking about Mr. Mike Kirk, the assistant principal at West Claremont High School. Also like to thank uh, Natasha Adams, our superintendent and the school board, and of course, all the schools in West Claremont that participated, the students, the student councils, the faculty, the staff, some of the parents, I know you helped, the custodians, and of course, the maintenance department. And this all wouldn't have been possible without the permission and help from Amelia and Batavia. What a great way to wrap up Love West Claremont Week. Well, that's about it. This is Ron Points, your host, saying stay safe, have a great rest of your school year, and so long until next time.